Hi, it's John from Android Addicts with a video showing you how to downgrade from Android Pie to Android Oreo for the P20 Pro. Now there's various reasons you may want to do this, um, I won't go into them here, but this is a quick video showing you how you achieve that. So first of all, what you want to do is download the Huawei High Suite program for your PC. I've put a link in the description. So once it's installed, you should see the following screen. Right, when High Suite is installed, if you click on the USB button here, it will give you a quick tutorial on how to actually enable High Suite to talk to your P20 Pro. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go into the settings of the phone and start searching for HDB. Now if you just type HDB in, you'll see here it pops up and says allow High Suite to use HDB. So we'll just tap on there and then we'll just slide the little button on to allow access. So now we'll plug in the phone. Click next on here and next again. So if like on mine it hasn't actually detected the phone yet, just double check it's not just charging via USB as mine is. Uh, just press down on here and click charging via USB and then select transfer files. You should hear your PC detect the phone, which it has done. And it's now popped up with this note here saying, confirm on the phone whether to allow the connection with High Suite. So I'm going to press OK on there. We're going to press Allow on our phone. And now the software is allowed to access the phone. Press the Allow button here to allow the software to actually uh, provide system updates and repair services. So what I'd suggest you do before continuing, if you haven't already, is do a backup. Okay, once the software has finished scanning your phone, you'll see a list of bits and pieces here which will get backed up. Now here I don't have enough space for this to be backed up, so I'm just going to change this to a drive which I know has more space. I'll just create a new folder called Backups. Now, as my videos and pictures are already backed up to Google Photo, I'm just going to deselect those, which brings the backup down to about 12 gigabytes. So that's much better. I'm not going to bother encrypting with a password, that will just slow things down for me. So let's click backup. Now, I would suggest you use a USB 3 connection if you have one, that will make transferring a lot quicker. Now, I believe what this is doing is actually creating a local backup on your phone in a folder called BK Files, which I've just seen Google Photos has popped up asking if I want to back it up to Google Photos. So the phone is running a bit laggy at the moment and it's yeah, it's, it's creating an image file, I'm guessing, or a zipped up file of all the data before it transfers it across to the PC. Okay, so while this is happening, I'm just gonna have a quick look with ES File Explorer to see if I can find this folder. Okay, so I found the folder. This is what it's currently got in here. Let's we'll sort it by size decreasing. So we can see here, these are the apps being backed up. So it's backed up Sims Mobile, it's backed up the Photos app, my contacts database, the camera database. So it's still going. What I'll do is view it by modified. So hopefully we'll see the most recent files appear at the top. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it appears to have started copying things across to the PC now. Got these completed. So now I'm guessing it's going to be just the apps to go. Okay, so once you're happy everything's backed up, what you're going to want to do is click on here, System Update. Click on here and it will just do a quick check. And it will pop up saying that you're currently using the latest official version. So if you want to downgrade, we want to switch to other version. So we can see here, this is going to roll back to Android 8. That's EMUI 8.1. Just read the features here.
So this is a 3.9 gig update. So we're going to click restore. This may erase data on your device. Well, we know it's going to erase because it's saying here all data will be deleted on the device. So we're going to click resume. We're going to click allow. And the update file will download. Remember, this is nearly four gigs in size, so it will take a few moments. What I will do before it installs is to show you that I am currently running on MUI 9.0. That's the current MUI version and the build number. So we're now on the install stage. It's 5% complete. I presume what it's doing here is actually copying across the file it's downloaded to the phone. Okay, the update is complete and the phone is now restarting. Okay, so the phone has rebooted a couple of times and we're now back at the welcome screen. So I'm going to just quickly set up the phone. Right, this looks quite default to me. So let's just go into the settings and double check our version numbers. Okay, so there we are. We are back on 8.1 of Android and 8.1 of EMUI. Hope you found this video useful. Please leave any comments or questions you have down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future.